everybody, welcome to Crafty Maven Getaway uh, Flea Free Flow Wednesday. Uh, today I am doing uh, a layout from my most one of my most recent road trips. We went to San Francisco uh, and started our trip there, and I have a photo of one of the streetcars that we rode downtown. Um, so I started with a piece of white, plain white cardstock uh, for the background, and Half of this Bella Boulevard, or actually it's like four inches um, of Bella Bella Boulevard, this star paper, and also a piece of this clear and black acetate that I think is also Bella Boulevard. And I going, I'm going to mount my photo on the I'm gonna to try to mount it on a multicolored piece of paper to bring a little bit of um, color in, and I do think I end up mounting it on that um, kind of multicolored bokeh pattern. Yep, that's what I'm going to mount it on um, to bring a little bit of color into this layout because it's primarily black and white. And then I am going to get a little bit mixed media, which is kind of crazy because I don't usually do that. Um, it's not all that nuts, um, but it's more than I typically do. So I put this strip of the acetate down underneath the, um, the star paper and I am I'm trying to figure out what else I want to do. I'm gonna this this kit that I used was I think the click kit, click into color kit. Um, so it, a lot of it was black and white with some uh, colors, pops of colors thrown in. Um, so this layout tends to be uh, pretty black and white. And then I'm going to add in some dilutions. Uh, I think it is the dis. I don't know if it's called the Distress Stain or it's the Dilutions Ink, um, the Spray Ink. And I'm going to use a paintbrush and actually paint in some of these stars. And I think it's called like Red Brick or Fire Brick or I don't know if that's a Tim Holtz color versus um, the Dilutions, but it's it's the Bright Red um, Dilutions Ink. And I'm just going to pull my paintbrush and then I am going to start coloring in just randomly. Um, random different stars and that's going to take me a little while here um, and in the meantime I will we the picture that I'm using is like I said the street one of the street cars in San Francisco I had always wanted to go to San Francisco so um, we headed on out we made it our very first stop on our trip we flew into San Francisco and we spent two days there before uh, we went on to the rest of our road trip and we had tickets for Alcatraz so we were staying out by the airport and then we ended up taking the train in to downtown and I'm not sure where it dropped us but it dropped us on the streetcar line um, so we ended up riding on one of, on actually a red streetcar like that and so I had snapped a picture it's not a great picture it's pretty blurry um, because it was taken across the street from where the streetcar was and the streetcar was moving um, but it's definitely um, a great memory uh, because that was something I wanted to do was either ride like one of the cable cars or the streetcars and we didn't make it to the cable cars but that was okay with me since we did the streetcar and um, so this is going to be my I think my second page in my album uh, for the Crafty Maven Getaway crop. I did a page that was um, kind of like let's start here and that was also in uh, taken in San Francisco but that's going to be the very very first picture in my entire uh, road trip album and this is going to be the second one because I'm going to title this page Welcome to San Francisco because it was kind of the very first thing we did uh, besides flying in and sleeping at a hotel um, and taking the train into the city was taking taking the streetcar which was really fun um, and I really really enjoyed taking it and it was like crazy crowded and I that was just added to the fun and it was really funny while we were waiting for the streetcar we ended up meeting two ladies that ended up living like 15 minutes from our house um, they were on vacation as well and it's just so funny because it's clear across the country it's the absolute other coast um, and it just so happened that we met them waiting at waiting to get on a streetcar. Um, so these are little acetate stars. Uh, they're very, very thin, though. Um, they're not quite full acetate, I don't think. Um, but I'm going to adhere them with glossy accents, maybe. <laughs> My glossy accents in this bottle is completely clogged, and it does not want uh, to come out. So I think I actually... I don't know if I take the top off. I think I take the top off and then make a giant mess with it. 
Um, but you know, it's all good. I use my finger and spread it out. At least it's better than the last time I did a layout. I dropped the globe on on my um, my page like three times. So at least I wasn't too bad. I just used my finger to spread it out and then I'm just gonna wash my hands with, here with a baby wipe and uh, continue on. So this is essentially the basis for my layout and then I'm gonna add a few select embellishments here. I'm not gonna do tons uh, because I wanted it to be kind of a title page. It doesn't, I'm gonna tell the story, but I'm actually gonna put it on the back. I'm not gonna journal on the front of this layout um, because I wanted to. I wanted it more of a title page than anything. So I was trying to see if I could use a piece of flair. I don't end up using it there. Um, I do have these Bella Boulevard, like these colorful um, stickers here that I will use several. I pull out one of the the green ones, one of the orange ones, and then also some of these black. These are also Bella Boulevard. They're like tiny word stickers. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I'm going to put this arrow here and these tiny word stickers down, and then I am I play around with it, and I find out, I end up putting them on um, these stars here, just as each one is going to have like a somewhat of a small embellishment on it. And I do end up making, the flare does make it onto the page, it's just a matter of where will it make it. Because um, I did like this multicolored flare, and it will end up on there. But I, I struggled, this, I was trying to use just the kit, and I found that it didn't have quite enough embellishments for my liking. I didn't, I wasn't able to get them on there uh, the way I wanted them to. So I ended up pulling some of these, um, I think they're Studio Calico or it might be Seven Paper now, whatever they are, Puffy Stars. And they're silver um, and added them to this little embellishment cluster on the top star here. They didn't stick very well though. Um, so I had to add some extra adhesive. They were kind of more goopy than adhesive. Um, and I knew they weren't going to last, so I just added some extra glossy accents and went on with the layout. And then, let's see, I'm going to use a glue dot here to get the flare down. And I also do add a couple of enamel dots, and then I'm going to start working on my title here in a little bit. I kind of forget what I did next. I might have just sat here and gone through my letters. My title, like I said before, my title is going to be Welcome to San Francisco. Um, so these are, I think, I don't know if they're thicker brand or if they're We Are Memory Keepers. They kind of remind me of the We Are Memory Keepers um, because they're larger and, but they might be thicker. I don't, I can't remember what came in the kit. Um, so I use these large letters for the title except for the word two. Um, I use in those very small uh, round letters that actually I pulled off from another word um, and made it um, made it work um, because whatever the words were I weren't going to use as as a whole so I made my own and then I was just spelling it out and I had to check the spelling of San Francisco of course because I'm a really horrible speller and I feel like this layout is dragging. I don't know why. I think it was because I did the I kept in so much of the painting. Um, so I'm gonna put my layout down here, and that will finish it up. The only other thing I'm going to do is um, glue it down officially with some glossy accents once it's down. Um, so thank you guys, and I will straighten it out. I end up making it nice and straight. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you later this month. I am up for a sketch challenge on the Crafty Maven Getaway. I hope everybody has a fantastic Wednesday and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.